Good morning. This is your morning sip. Whatever you're having this morning, whether it's coffee, tea, apple juice, pineapple juice, grapefruit juice, whatever you're having, please have it with Jesus Christ. Me, I'm having some coconut tea. Today you'll find me back in the book of um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 again today because the Holy Spirit ministered to me and wanted me to share something today with someone out there. This word is for you today and hold on to it. Whatever belongs to you, you take it and you run with it and go and share. Today you will find me coming from you from Thessalonians 5, 1 Thessalonians 5, reading from verse 15 down to 17. Say, see that no one render evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue what is good, both for yourself and for all, rejoicing always, praying without ceasing. Now, I know sometimes persons rub us wrong in life. They do some things to us. They... They go, they slander our name, they go, they set snares for us, they, they rob us, they cheat us, they do all kind of things. And, and, and sometimes they, they, they go out there and the level of hatred they have for us, we want to retaliate and we want to hate back. But God says to us that we must not render evil for evil. I know, and it's hard because this is ministers to me too today. That that and, and, and most of the messages I share minister also with me. But God if not most of them, all of them, minister to me. And I am sharing because I want you to know that I'm a real human being that goes through the same things that every one of us go through. And we experience in our life, daily life, we experience on our job, in our schools, in our homes, in our communities. We experience where we experience the level of hate that sometimes people have towards you and towards your countrymen, towards your family and your friends. And God does not want us to retaliate that way. God wants us to be people of love and be people of peace. We see where the, the men got God to sign, um, the, they got the King Darius to sign a decree that, that anyone caught praying because they knew that Daniel had a prayer life. And look what the word says to us this morning. Pray without ceasing. Daniel prayed fervently before the Lord. Daniel Pray three, four times a day, as many times as he had the opportunity to kneel down. He went and he faced Jerusalem and he prayed to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob because Daniel knew, regardless of the situation or regardless they were in captivity, he knew that he was serving a God who was able to deliver them, the God who was able to bring them out. And although he knew that he had a lot of people envious of him and jealous of him because of his position and was trying to underline and malign his name and destroy him. And they even got the king to sign a decree that if he is caught praying, he would be cast into the lion's den. But Daniel continued to pray. He never stopped praying. If I was to tell you today, do not allow your light to go out. Continue to have a strong prayer life. Although the enemy is fighting you, although the enemy is doing all kinds of things to you, hold on to that which is good. Keep a good, strong prayer life with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And as you keep a strong prayer life, you would watch God D diminish the mountains. The mountains will become a flat plain. Those persons that the Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more because God will fight your battles. God will keep you safe in the eye of the storm. Although they try to break you down, although they try to pull you down, although they try to muddy your name, God will keep you. He will sustain you. But keep a strong prayer life and do not render evil to them for evil, but do good because God says in the midst of it, he will shine through. And we see where King Darius went after the next morning, went and brought Daniel out of the lion's den. And then he turned around and he put those same men and their entire family. And God will have you to pray and feel sorry for your enemies who have been trying to do you in. Keep a strong prayer fasted life. Allow the Holy Spirit to continue to guide you. Bow your heads in a word of prayer with me. Gracious and eternal Father God, we thank you for your word this morning. We thank you for your word that we need to pray without ceasing, O oh God. Keeping a strong prayer life before you, O oh God, allowing your Holy Spirit to guide us. Father God, I pray for that soul that came to know you and the souls that came to know you on last night. Father God, I pray that you continue to strengthen those young men, Father God. Help them to walk in the light, Father God. Richard, you are in the light, O oh God. And Father God, may you continue to be a fence all around them and their families. We pray for the souls that are coming to know you this morning, that are coming to know you within the course of this day, O oh God. Father God, continue to strengthen them. In the name of Jesus the Christ, Father God, give them a strong prayer fasted life. 
in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Today you could go and you could share this in your WhatsApp group, share it with your family, share it with your friends. Tell them they could subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is called Uncle Irv's Morning Sip. May God bless you. And that Uncle Irv is his URV apostrophe S. Yes. May God bless you. Go and have a beautiful day. May God strengthen you. This is your morning sip. God bless you all.